we are talking about food plans for the Big Packer game and meat probably in some of your plans. Well, to talk about some more at-home tailgating ideas, Angie Horkin from the Wisconsin Beef Council. Thanks for joining us Good again. Morning. All right, so what are we making this time? We're making ground beef and blue cheese stuffed mushrooms. Ooh, sounds delicious. So it's kind of a different twist on a favorite. Mm -hmm. We all have a favorite stuffed mushroom recipe, but these use lean ground beef, and I started with ground round. Okay. So if you are thinking about calories and fat and you want to eat a little bit healthier, this is a great way to do it because ground round is very, very low in fat. Okay, so, excellent. And it's delicious in these mushroom caps. So I started with just regular white button mushrooms, but then I also bought a package of the cremini, creminis mm -hmm. or baby portobellas. Okay. Because they stuff up perfectly also. Okay, and, and they're bite-sized. And they're bite-sized. Mm -hmm. And the, both these appetizer recipes we're doing today make about 40 appetizers. So quite oh, a few. Oh, that's great. And enough quite for the few. party. Mm -hmm. So I took my one pound of lean ground beef and I mixed in blue cheese. Mm -hmm. So this whole tub of blue cheese, about uh, half a cup, cup. Mm -hmm. And then some of the mushroom stems. Oh, okay. Put mm -hmm. those back in. And then a steak seasoning. And I used a Montreal steak seasoning. That's what I have in my pantry. Okay. But uh, if you have a different steak seasoning you like, mm -hmm. put that in. And then just some breadcrumbs and then some fresh chives. And Excellent. so you make your filling, mix that all up. And, and then this smells really fresh and really good. Stuff your mushrooms. All right. And those stay in the oven for how long? They stay in the oven 20 minutes mm -hmm. at 375 degrees. Wow. And, and they'll be just once your ground beef is cooked through, so mm -hmm. that the 20 minutes they are ready. And then Excellent. you can take them out and check. Top them with some more fresh chives. And you are ready to go. Yes. Looks good, smells good. Angie, thank you so much. If you would like to see this recipe or learn more about the Wisconsin Beef Council, just head to our website, WISN.com.